Hello everyone, welcome to this episode. Um, so, quick background, bit of background. In France, you can buy um, solar panel kits that you just plug in. Uh, sometimes they're called balcony kits or plug in and plug and play kits. Um, now I normally work, I work in the solar industry in France and it's very well advanced. If you compare it to say the UK which is miles behind, in France you're allowed to feed back to the grid um, up to around about 3,000 watts or thereabouts. Uh, you, not for getting paid for it but it does give you some massive advantages. Uh, anyway, I can explain all about that later on. In fact let me show you a picture of a job I've just recently done. Anyway, so my mom has bought this kit, uh, 365 euros, and my job today and for this video is see how long it takes to get it up and running. Uh, it came on a pallet, a um, couple of weeks delivery day, um, delay, two solar panels, 500 watts each, so in total, theoretical maximum of 1000 watts, sometimes more, sometimes less. Inside here, we have a micro inverter which takes the panels, one on that side, one on that side, and then supplies it direct through a socket into the grid. And this is only possible in France because of the linky meters, the green electric meters you've got, incredibly clever things. I'm going to do a video on them soon but it allows you to let's say you've got a three phase supply which means you've got three lives in the house and a neutral even if you feedback on one line but you're still pulling the same amount on the other it takes the average of everything um, and if you're exporting the same amount on another phase as you are using then it's zero and builds you accordingly so let's see how quick we can do this. Uh, I'm just going to fit them, well not fit them, I'm just going to prop them up and uh, put the micro inverter in place, plug it in and let's go. Okay in the box we have our micro inverter, uh, some DC cables and one AC cable as well. So we also, we also have is, which is very important, instructions there you go in English <laughs> so it tells you how how to fit them all how to connect them and then more interestingly for us how to connect the Wi-Fi to it there you go we'll get to that in a minute we've only got one uh, set of leads, so I'm assuming that this is to extend one side to one panel and this one will plug in directly behind the other. So let's go, plug the panel in, um, let's see what happens. Quick look at the panels, these are 500 watts each and they're actually two separate panels would you believe, one there and one there. The reason they do that is to help with shading. So if you get shading on one, uh, it won't affect the other. So it just becomes a little bit more reliable. Uh, let's turn them around, have a look at the connections on the back. Here we go. Let's have a look at the, the back label. And then you've got your connections here. And normally this one will be the, the plus with the male end and in fact it's actually marked there plus that's marked minus and it's very important that you bear this in mind um, some inverters if you connect them up wrong plus to minus minus to plus won't go well anyway so what we're going to do is connect one of these to the micro inverter so we'll connect 
both panels to the same, uh, this panel to one side and the other panel to the other. You're not gonna get a shock or anything. <laughs> Don't worry, it's pretty straightforward. And we'll just pop there for now. There we go, that's the positive. And in fact, the negative. Ooh. Yeah, we'll plug it in. Mm. A bit of an extension on that as well. Whoa. Right, so you can see we've extended the cable here. Got plenty of cable reached to the other side, which is what we need. So now, the only thing that's missing is we need to turn this panel around. Before we do that, let's just connect these two up. These are waterproof leads, so everything here is waterproof as well, by the way, so it doesn't matter if it's outside. Now I've done that, I'm going to turn this panel around. Right here we are behind the panels. Uh, you can see that the extension of the two, two panels here come across. All we've got to do is now plug it into this inverter. Now you can see it's flashing red because it's already detecting power from this one panel. Right, I'm doing it like this so you can all see what's happening. That's why I've lent it up against the garage. Eventually these will be fixed in place, but it's just to see how quick we can do it. We need to now connect it to the mains. I'll show you how we do that. There you go, so the inverter comes up here. I don't know why I put it up there, but anyway. Around here. There we go. Plug it in, and that's it. That is literally it. So I'm gonna say less than 10 minutes. Now, a couple of things, only a thousand watts. So I can use extension lead, not very far, but I've done a couple. If you're anything above that, you need to put in a dedicated socket with its own dedicated uh, circuit breaker which I will do here anyway, but just not right now. And um, this is just to show you how quick you can get it up and running and get some power back into the, into the house. All we've got to do now is connect to the inverter wireless uh, Wi-Fi and uh, do some configuration. I'm going to follow these instructions to directly connect to it over Wi-Fi. And then uh, we should be able to see if it's working and if so, how much. So I've got my phone. I'm just going to follow these instructions and I'll come back to you when that's done. All connected. You can see I just lit them up. They're partially shaded at the top for the moment because uh, there's no fixings. I don't want them to blow away. Uh, but even like that, with the top half shaded, now you can see you're getting. And today is really cloudy and rainy. So that is actually probably the standby of the house. And you can just see, given that it's super cloudy, it's not bad, is it? Um, I will, by the time this video goes out, do a little quick comparison on the usage of the electricity in the house and see if it makes much of a difference. Just for peace of mind for those people watching, I'm obviously not going to leave it like that. It's going to be permanently fixed on the roof with the proper cables and a smart uh, monitoring device so we can look at it inside on the iPad. 
So that was just to show you how quick you could set it up and start generating. So you could buy them and just lay them flat on the ground if you wanted. And it would just generate until you've got all the fixings together or the time to fix them. So the second it lands at your house, 10 minutes later, you could be having electric, which I think is really good. And it's super simple. You don't need any forms. You don't need to contact anyone. Just plug it in and off you go. I'm going to try and do a video on how to replicate this for less money by using my contacts. But it's already looking like it's not possible to get it for that money. Um, so this system is a really good deal. Anyway, stand by and we'll have a look at energy consumption. There you go, that was installed uh, over a week ago now. So what we're going to do is have a look via the EDF app and uh, online and we'll see if it saved any money or not. Let's get into it. Right, here we go. That was the Sunday before I installed it. Uh, we usually do 8.4 kilowatt hours and there's a lot of 8s, 9s, 7 kilowatt hours. Uh, nine, nine and a half, nine point three, and then that's the Sunday I fitted it. And after that, you can see it dropped down eight, six, four, and then we're below seven. So, yeah, makes a big difference, I think. Big, big difference. And now uh, you can see, uh, yeah, it's dropped right down. Quite pleased with that. There we go. You can see it definitely makes a difference it really does you know um, you just have to adjust the way that you use your electricity as well so if it's a sunny day of course you just go outside and make sure that the panels are in the sun and then you can run washing machines uh, anything like that it, you know, a thousand watts of it if it's fully producing will be free so half price anyway I thought you'd find that useful. Um, the next video coming up is how you use this system to heat your hot water for free using a special device that goes between the panels and your um, hot water tank and on a sunny day you'd never have to pay to heat it. So stick around for that one. I'll see you uh, on the next one.